Take a look at this proof. This proof tells me that angle 1 and 2 are congruent. You can see that I've marked those two angles congruent. I'm trying to show that angle 1 and angle 3 are supplementary. And keep in mind here that because angle 1 and angle 3 are not currently forming a straight angle, I'm going to need to come up with some type of way to be able to link those two angles together. When I first looked at this proof, I assumed that this, angle was, uh, that this proof was going to have something to do either with showing that I had angles that were supplements of congruent angles, the reason being because I had a straight angle here and I had a straight angle here, or maybe using the subtraction property, I was going to be able to remove two congruent angles and get two congruent angles on the inside. But if you notice, they're not asking me to show that these two angles are congruent, even though I really could do that. Um, so when I go back and look at this, I'm actually trying to show that the angles are supplementary. And that seems a little bit strange to me because they don't seem to have a lot of connection being in separate parts of the diagram. However, sometimes with proofs, you just need to show something that you can show. I wanted to bring in the idea of having supplementary angles here. And I did notice that angle 2 and angle 3 are supplementary. So I'm going to show that those angles are supplementary. First of all, ask yourself, what do I need to show to show that those angles are supplementary? Well, according to the definition, I either need to show that the two angles have a sum of 180 degrees or that the two angles form a straight angle. You'll notice that they form a straight angle. If I'm going to show that they form a straight angle, that needs to be included in the proof. I'm going to say that angle MAR is a straight angle. And that's one of the few things that we are allowed to assume from the diagram. So I have that there. Now I'm allowed to say that angle 2 and angle 3 are supplementary. The reason being, they have a sum of a straight angle, or they form a straight angle. So if angles have a sum of a straight angle, then they are supplementary. Take a look at this statement. I have now made a statement that looks very similar to the statement that I have up here. In fact, you'll notice there's only one difference between those two statements. This statement says that 2 and 3 are supplementary. This says that 1 and 3 are supplementary. Anytime I have two statements that look very much alike, except for one possible change, I always try to look around and see, do I have anything that I could put in place of one of those values to change that to being the same statement as the one that I'm trying to prove? And that's when you come back and you notice that the given tells us angle 1 is congruent to 2. The substitution property tells me if I have things that are congruent to each other, I can put one of those in place of one of the other values in a statement and get another statement that's the equivalent. So I'm going to substitute here. In place of angle 2, I'm going to substitute angle 1, and I'm going to get a new statement. That statement says that angle 1 and angle 3 are supplementary. All I have to state here is that I'm using substitution. So you'll notice I never really needed to show anything else there, really just to get a statement that looked a lot like the one I was trying to prove, replace a value in the statement, and at that point I'm done.